Greetings everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ultimate Doom and Ultraviolence with Fast Monsters Enabled. This is episode 5, Sigil. So, after a long, long wait, here is Sigil. For real this time, and not some bad April Fool's joke. So as you can see, this uh, beginning area sets the tune for this what? Start off in an area with 4 imps and a spectre. And there's a new mechanic in this what? And that is shooting the ice, the demonic ice, which in return will trigger stuff. So if you shoot this eye, it will raise the bridge, but it will also raise the, the little cliff here. So you can go find a nice secret here, which is a soul sphere. But that's not all, you can also jump to this cliff here find yourself a secret radiation suit and it doesn't end there you can jump down here for a secret cavern for a secret chain gun and no that's not it there's one more secret we can get this computer area map and that's it that's all four secrets of this map thank you imp So there's also some lost souls, and as you know, with fast monsters, they are very annoying. Spoilers, John Romero loves lost souls. So, uh, we're in for a ride. Anyway, to get up, you press this switch here. And go back to safety. Right on time, now that the radiation suit expired. Alright, so, evil eye. We shoot you to raise a bridge and to raise this bridge you shoot another evil eye right here and this will give off, give us access to the final building where we're gonna have to fight some spec um, pinkies And beware if you lower the elevator. It's not a pinky. And up the elevator is probably the most difficult. Well, it is the most difficult room in this map. And that is this. So yeah, just let the shotgunners hit the demons. It will give you time to maneuver around the room. Find yourself a nice spot to kill the Kaku demon and you're done. So there we go, 100%. Alright, level 2. So this imp will kill the shotgunners for us. And then beware of imps that will teleport in. There's gonna be a couple of them. In the meantime I'll try to shoot the evil eye here. It's gonna give us berserk. And a soul sphere. And let's just run to this elevator here. And beware of the shotgunner upstairs. And also, take note of this mega armor, which is your third secret. Uh oh. Don't fall down, Mr. Doom guy. I cannot. Okay. I couldn't lower the elevator for some reason. So, here we have our first Baron of Hell. And of course, we're gonna punch him out. Because we're a badass. Look at these moves, look at these moves, man. And you can jump into this fire blue teleporter for yet another secret with yet another sorcerer. And that's all the secrets you can get. All four. Now. We go into this section here, it's a bit of a maze. Press the switch, here we have the shotgunner. And yes, you heard it right, that was a side demon. Because there he is. And don't even bother with him. Just make sure make sure he cannot hit you and just move on. We'll deal with the Cyberman later. A 
Okay, now when you press the switch, it's gonna open up the wall. And whatever you do, don't grab the souls for yet. But do alert the monsters. Because if you grab the souls for the walls will disappear. It'll make fighting two specters and two Kakodemons a bit more uh, difficult than it should be. So yeah, just peekaboo shoot them like this. Okay, if you take if you get hit, there's a soul sphere ready for you. Yeah, this map has three soul spheres, it's pretty crazy. So yeah, just grab that shit. That good shit. And beware when you grab this health file. It will uh, review a Kaku Demon. A uh, Baron and two Kaku Demons. And I'm just gonna stand here so the second Kaku Demon hits the Baron. So there we go. Who's gonna win? The Kaku Demon did. Impressive. Now, about that Cyber Demon. How do we kill him? Do we shoot until it, add it until it dies? No, I know something else. Watch this. I need to position him a bit. Come on. You can do it. Sometimes it takes a while, but he has to stand where the dead imp is. Yeah. Gotcha. So you can telefrag him. If you walk over this ledge here, you will teleport to the beginning area. And that's how you kill a cyber demon. That um, guide lied to us. It said shoot at it onto a dice, but you can just telefrag it. Okay, here's map 3. This one has some very good music. And as much as I love Buckethead, I think I'll stick with midis when it comes to Doom. I just prefer midis playing in the background when I'm playing uh, some good old Doom. So yeah, kill the shotgunner quickly, because he's uh, very nasty. Nasty boy. Shoot the evil eye. And kill the Skaku Demon, because he's also very annoying. And also kill this Kako here, because he's blocking the radiation suits. And we want that, so... Grab the suit, kill the two shotgunners and imp. And this pinky, I wanna get him to infight with the Kako demon. Come on. Okay, it was very risky, but in the end he got him. And just so you know, there's not a pinky here. Okay, so when you press this switch, it's gonna open up the walls in this main area. And we can use the imps to hit the Kaku demons. So, if you stand down here, the imp fireballs cannot hit you. Oh, never mind. And from here, just kill the Kaku demon up close. And from far away, I wanna snipe some of the imps. Oh, my ready suit's running out. I better not die. Phew. Yeah, I wanna snipe these imps. It's hard to see them, but. One is left. Okay. Well, the Kaku demon is busy again. Yeah, beware of the shotgunner. He will arrive soon. <laughs> there he was. Look at my health. He will kill me. Easily. Alright. Kakodemon is dead. But there's more imps here. We're sort of safe. We're gonna get a Berserk very soon. Oh, there's another Kaku Demon. No. Just jump down here. For a secret Berserk. Now, where did the Kaku Demon go? Okay, when you shoot this eye here... 
It's gonna open up the wall. Which is a secret. And I think the Kaku Demon's gonna appear in my face. We will see about that. Oh no, a pinky. Just as bad. Alright, we have the red key. And you probably heard it, we all woke up a Baron. Now where is he? There he is. Oh crap. These sneaky shotgunners. And my radiation suit is running out, that sucks. Yeah, classic Doom. Shooting barons with shotguns. Okay, let me check the secrets. Two out of four. I'm missing two, and I know which ones. So one is here. For a computer area map. Uh, this armor I want. Okay, Kakurimen, bring it on. I'm ready for you. Yeah, I wish I had the radiation suit so I could kill the Kakuri man. Well, I'll deal with him later. Yeah, I'm just gonna jump down here. Because you can shoot this evil eye. To open up stuff and get yourself a rocket launcher. And this Baron behind the Kakuri man can get him to infight with the Kakuri man. Of course the Baron will win. Oops, I waste the rocket. So it should be another Kakudimon. Okay, how many kills do I have? All of them. Let's exit. Okay, so here's something you won't see me do very often, and that is use the chainsaw. So I'm going to use a chainsaw, hide behind the pillar, and kill whatever comes to me. Yeah, see, that's why I don't like using the chainsaw, because I'm at 40% health now. So yeah, there's three passageways we have to take here. Each one goes to a colored key, and at the end of the level, we have to use each colored key to exit. Let's take the passageway to the right first, because it gives us a rocket launcher. And it will give us another very nice item very shortly. So with the rocket launch you just grabbed, kill this Baron here. And when the elevator descends, jump down and enter the tunnel. And feast your eyes on this beautiful item. Invincibility. Which we will use to traverse the middle passageway. Because it's the hardest. Well, it's the most painful. Come on, level 2. So yeah, this is all damaging floors. The platforms will fall under your feet. Grab the yellow key. Open the yellow door. And try to get the pinkies to infight the Kaku Demon. Perfect. And there you go. That's how you deal with this section. And this is a very slow yellow door, so we're gonna have to wait a bit. There we go. Alright, mega armor. Some health. And here we get rid of our first rows, row of bars. Okay, now we're gonna go back to the right. And deal with a very hard section, once again. Run to this corner here. Ah oh, crap, I didn't trigger the shotgunners. One sec. Okay, now they are triggered. May as well kill them from here then. It 
So you're supposed to shoot an evil eye. Let me kill the shotgunners from here. Usually when you run to that corner, the shotgunners will reveal themselves, but not this time. I was too fast, I think. So yeah, run to the middle, shoot the evil eye. There's a tip, you can check for the blinking light patterns on the floor to see where the crusher uh, crushes you. And I also recommend to grab all the shotguns here, because ammo is a bit scarce. And behind the wall is the soldier, as you can see. So, I'm gonna grab the guns here. And then deal with the most horrible section of Sigil. The crusher section. Yeah. Everyone loves crushers, don't they? Don't they? I don't. This is so slow and annoying. Yeah, I don't like this at all. I don't know what John Romero was thinking when he made this. Okay, so... The cr this crusher pattern is the worst. I don't know how many times I got crushed by this thing. They have to go up simultaneously. That's the trick. No, not yet. No, 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 I have to go for it. Go, 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 go. Don't crush me. Thank you. And for some reason, there's a specter there. He's completely harmless. Okay, now comes this shitty section. When you stand on these broken teleporter pads, it will stop the crushers, and you have to time it well. Like, now. See, now you can uh, move around. And grab the key. Alright, we're done with the second uh, passageway. Let's get rid of the blue bars. Now we take the one to the left. This one is also a bit tricky. Because of the hit scanners here. So I think I'll just run. Kill the Spectre here. Then I have to shoot an evil eye somewhere. Yeah, I have to shoot an evil eye to make a bridge up here. I think it's here somewhere. Alright. Oh yeah, there's a spectre here. There's also a baron at the end of this uh, little building. Time for some rockets. That's it. Maybe the imp will help me a bit. And... If you were sharp, you may have noticed that this wall opened up for yet another rocket launcher. And thank god, there's a soul right here. Okay, how many secrets are here? Five, only one more, uh, one more to go. I know where it is, it's at the exit. Okay, hit scanners. I really wish this map had a chainsaw, a uh, chain gun. Alright, we have the red key. We can now go open up all the bars and deal with another bear. Oh, there's a chainsaw, uh, chain gun. I complained uh, too early. Yeah, I wish it had a chain gun much earlier in the level. Okay, it's gonna be two Kaku Demons. They're a bit annoying to fight, because they keep flying back. And sometimes your chain gun won't reach them. Maybe if I stand here... No. He needs to come closer. I'll hide, so he doesn't attack. Okay. Please die, please, please. Yeah. Okay, here's the final section. 
Uh, try to open the wall. It's gonna reveal Kakko Demons. Three of them. Kill them with rockets. Then this rocky wall here is a bit bloodied, as you can see. You can open up for a backpack and shells. Get ready to fight one more Baron. And you are done with this level. Let's double check. All kills, all secrets. Let's go. Oh man, this is a very tough map. So first thing I do here is run into the secret wall. Kill the shotgunners. Grab their guns. And then kill the rest of the shotgunners. So there's one around the corner and here also then there is a cyber demon as you can see and I'm gonna use him to kill some of the demons you kinda lure his rockets to where you want come on where's the kaku demon? he's supposed to get hurt yeah Okay, I hope the Lost Soul also got hit. Oh, there's one. There's like three Lost Souls that are just very annoying. There's also one that blocks this switch here. Maybe he's dead, let's see. Yeah, okay. Press the switch. And then get the heck out. And kill the stuff up here. If it gets too uh, dangerous, just jump down. Come here, Pinky. And you can open up the wall here for a secret rocket launcher. Don't forget to grab the rockets here. And then jump down to fight some more monsters. But these are deaf, so you can just stay behind the corner here and just shoot them like this. Nothing too difficult. Okay, now this part, there's gonna be two Kaku Demons, just launch two or three rockets and you should be good. Just like that. And to get out of here, just stand on the white platform again. And there you go. You've now unlocked a new section of this map. Holy crap, bouncing lost soul. Did I grab the stim pack here? Yes, I did. Okay. Now let's kill the imps up here. Killing them now from down here will make your life easier. Man, these imps take a beating. Yeah, I'm saving my shells a bit. Okay, so now we will go to the building where the imps were. Just take a left here. Dodge those rockets. Get ready to kill the shotgun here and kill the imp. And when you press the switch, go back to the entrance. Because there's a couple of hit scanners behind the bars. There, they are dead. Don't focus on the pinkies, they cannot get to you. Don't, don't worry about them. Focus on these imps. There's uh, a lot of them, including a Lost Soul. So, Lost Soul, I'm gonna kill you with a pistol. So long, suckers. Okay, now these pinkies. I need to time my shots well, I don't want to waste any shells. Like that, damn it. Um, shoot the evil eye and get ready to kill the Kaku Demon. Just two rockets or something. Sometimes three, sometimes two. And now comes the most tedious section of this of this map. There's so many lost souls here, it's incredible. 
Like, John, why? What were you thinking, John? Since when do you love Lost Souls this much? <sighs> I kind of forced to use the pistol here because you don't have enough shells to kill them all. You could try to punch them all out, but for that you need superhuman reflexes. Like these, I will use the shotgun on. Around the corner, there's also a Kaku Demon. Let's see if I can wake him up. Yeah. And these vines are very annoying. So yeah, these Lost Souls cannot get to you, so they will kill uh, each other. You can also punch them, if you time your punch well. See? So yeah, just take this section slow, because before you know it, you're dead. Slow souls in groups, they do a lot of damage. Should also be an imp here, yeah. You could punch these lost souls around the corner, I guess. Damn it, I don't want to get hit too much. Although those are two low damage rolls, so I, I got lucky so far. Okay, now thank god there's some shotgunners here. Ugh. If I remember correctly, I didn't grab a medikit. Okay, good. I really must have health for the rest of this map, because there's not much health in this map. Okay, now we have the blue key. And now we can kill the cyber demons. So if you jump down, this teleporter here will lower. And you can just telefract that son of a bitch. And also the other one. So just carefully maneuver. Don't touch the lava. Don't waste precious health. And just... Boom. Telefragon. Okay. I'm gonna kill these monsters now. Just in case. Okay. And then I wanna grab the mega armor. There's a hidden mega armor. It's not a secret, but it is hidden. I'll show you where it is. Grab the elevator, then jump on this uh, on these rocks here, and you can get behind the wall here for a mega armor. And now we have to run over there without taking any damage. Um, I really don't want to waste too much health. So I'm gonna take it safe here. I'm gonna just gonna jump to the blue door. And hopefully take no damage. Let's see, take take damage? No. Okay, there's gonna be hit scanners here, so hide behind corners a bit. Then prepare rockets for the Baron. Five rockets should be sufficient. Or not today. Now we have the yellow key. And now let's uh, see. We don't, hope we don't take any damage, please. Okay. Now comes the most difficult section of this map. All these little rooms with monsters. Hit scanners, imps, specters. Can I punch you? Come here. Yeah, this section is really tough. I'm not looking forward to this. So this is gonna reveal its scanners. I'm just gonna wake him up. Let him come to me. I'm gonna take it slow here. I hope you don't mind. Because health is extremely scarce. Let's 
so is ammo. Yeah, I don't think this map was designed around pistol starts. I don't care what John Mero says. He said all maps are designed around pistol start, but this one? Hell no. Oh no, I crushed all the shotguns. Crap. Okay, for this part... I don't want to go down, because I will wake up like lots of pinkies. I'm not gonna shoot yet. Oh, crap. What do I do? Okay, I woke up something. But not the demons, I think. Yeah, I'm taking this slow. Like I said. There's so many pinkies around the corner. There's no way you can kill them all. At once. So I'm gonna take them out one by one. Oh crap, and the Cavity is coming. And I lost my elevator. And the Lost Saw is coming. Oh, goody. Yeah, kill the Lost Saw. Do it. Damn, that Lost Saw will take one half a beating. Okay, Pinky. Come here. Is there another Kaku Demon? No. It's a Lost Soul. Okay, I'm doing very good so far. Oh, there's the Kaku Demon. Ooh, lucky shot. Okay, where's the shotgunner? I heard you. I want your gun. Give me your gun. Show yourself. Screw it. Now, how do I... Okay. Now, I don't remember what's next, so... I'm very scared. I really don't want to die. Okay, I see a Baron. Let's see if we can get the Kako to hit him. No. Ah, crap. Guess it's time to shotgun Barons. I really hope I don't have to kill much stuff. Because it feels like I'm wasting my shells now. How many, many monsters left? Six monsters. Crap. And there's a Kako demon too. Can I do something? Okay, it's a... There is a Baron. That's very nice. First time I'm happy to see a Baron, because he will kill the Kauka Demon for me. I think I did it, boys. I beat one of the hardest levels in the map. In the... what? Yes, thank God. We're done, guys. I love you all. Alright, yet another very difficult level. I would almost say this is the hardest level in Sigil. Mainly because of the final room. This map doesn't mess around. So, when you enter this cavern here, it's gonna spawn two specters and a shotgunner behind you. There's the shotgunner. And below here are three pinkies and two shotgunners. And I kind of want to wake up the Kaku Demons by making an, a sound in the section where the pinkies are. Come on. It's a bit tricky to do. Come on. Yeah. There. You don't want to deal with the pinkies from down below because the lights are going to go out. It's gonna be pitch dark. And the blood damages you, so... And I don't have enough ammo to kill the Kaku Demon. Forced to use the pistol. Well, at least the pinky also died, it's good. Let's jump down. 
and locate the secret ammo. Yeah, you really cannot see anything here. Open the door to the elevator. And thank god, there's some health here. Now let's quickly move on. We're gonna grab the armor here. Open up the door with the BFG. Shoot the evil eye. And then let's see what awaits us here. There's like three imps and a shotgunner. And I'm most afraid of the shotgunner because, well, it's completely dark. But uh, we're good. Grab the red key. And there's two Capcom demons we shouldn't forget. Let's see if they're here. They're really hard to see. I'm wasting my cells. Alright. Now with the red key, let's press the switch. First, let, let's lure away the barons a bit. I don't want them to be even close to that um, door. So let them walk here a bit. I'm gonna get my BFG ready. Oh crap. You're, re you're supposed to move, Baron. Okay. Grab the radiation suits and then use the BFG to kill the Barons. This is a bit of a weird secret. You have to open up all the red bars like this. Then walk over the squares on the floor. And it will reveal a secret invincibility. So grab that, because you really need it for this section. Try to spawn as many mounts as possible, so grab the ammo, grab the chainsaw. Go through the door that opens behind you soon. This one. Kill the pinky, then grab the BFG and kill the Baron. This gonna be pinky, so get your plasma ready. There we go. There's also a lost sauce and I think another pinky if you go through the teleporter. Uh oh, there's gonna be multiple lost sauce and pinkies. Well, they went actually quite okay. So as you can see, we're now back in the beginning area. Now take the cavern to the left and get ready for the most difficult parts. This is a maze, filled with shotgunners, imps, pinkies, and of course the cyberdemon. So I'm gonna kill the hit scanners first. Come on, kill the hit scanner, pimp, thank you. And thank god for Berserk to deal with the pinkies, but still no chain gun. I told you, John Romero hates chain guns, I think. Nah, plenty of shells. Whoa, the Baron chipped the, the imp. Yeah, brutal. How did you even bite me? Okay, let's slowly go through the maze. Try to kill all the pinkies and the imps we encounter. I know there's a pinky here. And there's something up here. Or is it the Baron trying to attack me? No, it's an imp. I can hear the weird seeking sound in imps make. Like the gurgling sounds. Come here. I know you're there. Come on, Doom, hit the imp. Whoa. Scary Cyberdemon. 
Well, there's another Berserk here if we lost a lot of health. There's another Shotgunner up there. And also an Imp. Okay. I'm gonna grab some cells. And I'm going to run away because the Cyber Demon is getting too close. And I think there's one more pinky here. Or Imp. I hear demons, yeah. Okay. I need at least three BFG shots to kill the Cyber Demon, or two if I'm very lucky. So I'm just gonna run through the teleporters here, grab some ammo. Uh, at some point, I will grab some cells. Here, cells, okay. Now it's time to kill the Cyber Demon. I want him at a better place. I want him to walk here. This big open area. Okay, here we go. Okay, that's one shot. I got hit. Man, my heart. This is intense. Okay, come here. No, wrong side. Okay, good. Okay, one more shot. Come on, please die. Shit. Yes! Nice! Whew. Man, 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 this map. Oh, my heart. So intense. I love it. Oh, how did he hit me? Oh, yeah, beware of the secret evil eye. I'm gonna kill you. I don't care that I kill you with a shotgun. I'm just gonna kill you. You're a pain. Yeah, so there's an evil eye, right here. And shooting that evil eye will open up a wall to the secret exit. Which we will take later. There's still some stuff to kill. So yeah, here's the secret exit to the secret level. Then this teleporter brings you here. And now we are back in the beginning area once again. This time the cavern in front of us opened up. And there's two Kaku demons in it. And there's the regular exit. But of course we're not gonna take it. Now we go back to the labyrinth here. And as you can see a new Baron of Hell spawned. So let's do this little section again. Opa. And now we kill the Baron from here. This time we have some cells. Should kill him a bit faster. Hey, where are you going? Come on, final shot, kill him. Nice. Okay, all secrets, all kills. Let's exit. Alright, so here it is. The secret level. No real gimmicks in this map, except that the music is pretty damn kick-ass. This is my favorite sigil trick. None bucket hat trick, that is. And I guess the gimmick is, well, the crushers? Because I'm a firm believer secret levels must have some kind of gimmick or unorthodox uh, map design. 
But this is just me. So yeah, we grab the secret plasma. And look what's over there. A chain gun. A chain gun in sigil? No way. It's about time. We haven't had a chain gun since the fourth map. Okay, the next section I'm gonna do is here. I'm gonna wake up all the monsters, get the heck out, make sure the, the hit scanners die, and also make sure the Kaku Demon fights with the Baron. Just like that. And I hope the shotgunners get killed in the crossfire. And I also hope the other Kaku Demon comes uh, closer. Because of course this Kaku will die. And then I want the second Kaku to hit the Baron. Just like that. Yeah. And while they are busy, I will get this radiation suit. Grab the blue key and berserk. And this ammo. And let's just watch the fight, I guess. I'll help the Baron a bit. This way, this way, yeah. No, 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 this way. There you go. Yeah, good job. Kill the Kako. Although I will punch you a bit. Because the Kako demon will lose, of course. Go get him, tiger. Okay, that was a very stupid hit. Okay, I got too hot. I got hit too often. Not good. So yeah, beware of these crushers, because they will actually kill you. Like, I want to demonstrate with this spectre here. Nice, no, too fast. The ninja dodges all these crushers. Okay, time to pull out some berserk, because there are some spectres and pinkies here. Okay, well, we have the red key. Let's stand on the lift, which in return will lower this wall here. And we can get a secret soul sphere. Guys, listen to the music. Isn't this just the best track of Sigil? Come on. The best MIDI. Oh, there's uh, another specter. Yeah, like I said, I love Buckethead. But this is a nice uh, change. Oh, gotcha. Crushed by the crusher. And I don't think I'm gonna return here, so I'll just grab the armor. All right. Now, what comes next? Oh yeah. The fort. There's a fortress here. Okay, I want the Kaku Demons to kill the Imps. Wait, there's more than one Kaku Demon. Where am I wrong? I swear there were two Kaku Demons here. Maybe one is taking a nap. Or someone didn't wake up. Wake up! Oh, there he is. Yeah, get him. Yeah, as you can see, there's a Cyber Demon here. We have 80 cells, so let's use them efficiently. I want to kill the Cyber Demon. I don't think there's any way to telefrag him. Okay, shotgun time. I know it's not very exciting to watch me kill a cyber demon with a shotgun, but he's actually quite dangerous. And I'm very low on health. Have to be careful where the rockets explode. Let's 
see? The splash damage. It's slowly killing me. I hope he dies soon. Because I'm running out of shells. Come on. It's time to die. Cyber boy. 70 bullets. I just missed all of my shots there. Come on, 10 bullets. Uh oh. This is not good, guys. Uh, I need to make a run for it. Grab some rockets and rocket launcher and shells. Let's go. Oh, man. Only one shot left and I got him. Alright. So I beat him in dead. Now we can take it uh, easy. We walk up here. Then we press the switch. It's gonna open the wall. But first I want to jump down. Oh, no, I didn't want to jump down. I have to shoot the evil eye first. There's an evil eye. It's gonna open up a secret in the pool of lava. Here it is. Here it is. Come here. So yeah. Some health and this item I'm not gonna grab. It makes the game ugly. Let's appreciate the shadows and lighting John Romero made for us, even though I'm using OpenGL. Okay, if you try to open the yellow door, it's gonna open up this switch. And then you can go here, find the secrets, find the yellow key, and here is the final section. Filled with lost souls. I know they don't count towards the kill counts, but I still kill them because they are annoying AF. Alright, now when you grab the stim pack, it's gonna lower the wall with an imp. You stand in the lighted area with the blue torches, it's gonna give you more imps, and this switch will open up. Oh, better be careful with those rockets, I don't wanna hit the pinky or the spectre. Man, they're just going on a rampage against the Baron. Okay, all secrets, all kills. Let's go. Hmm. For some reason this area looks familiar. I'm not sure what it is. Anyway, let's find these two secrets here. So we're gonna shoot this zombie man, which will wake up four shotgunners, and they will all teleport in. And this Kaku demon will also... We will also wake up, and beware of the spectre. Now, whatever you do, do not grab the stim pack. It's gonna open up a wall with shotgunners. So just jump down and kill the Kaku demon. Also in this room, don't step on the pentagram over there. Just move on. We'll deal with this section later. Wait, do we? No, I actually want a rocket launcher. In that case, I think I'll just open it up like that. Then shoot the middle window to unlock this room. And I will grab the rockets and stuff, and just get out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Now this cavern is filled with shotgunners. Just be careful. 
And at the end, we have three imps. Oh, it's hit scanners everywhere. Let's go these imps first, actually. Can I even kill them from here? Now Doom has some trouble trying to hit them. There we go. Okay, hit scanners. They will all die. Oh yeah, crap. I forgot about you. But I didn't forget about you. The caged shotgunner. Okay, let's see. That's the Kalka Demons we skipped earlier. Now we're gonna grab a weapon. We're going back up here. And we're gonna explore the right side of this building. Because there's something big here. Something freaking big. Yeah. It's the PFG, of course. You know, Sigil gives BFGs, but no chain guns. I'm not sure what I think about that. Uh, let's see, yeah. We grabbed the red key, and it's gonna spawn some barons. I'm gonna spawn all three of them. Then hit them with a nice BFG shot. Or two. Or three. What the hell? Okay, these Kaku Demons I'm gonna ignore, I'm gonna wake up the Lost Souls. And beware of the Shotgunner, caged. And run for the green armor, and then run for the invincibility. And when you have invincibility, go into the Scavern. You have to wait a bit. Put this thing to lower. Then run to the room with the goodies. Computer area map, cells, and a soul sphere. Very nice. Now let's go back to the beginning area. This time we will kill the Kaku Demon. I really hope the Kaku Demon is not blocking me. Path here. Mm, okay. All good. All the imps are dead. Okay. Oh. No, you don't. Go away. Well, that's a waste of a soul, sir. Okay, before we enter the red door, let's go explore this outer area. We can walk on this ledge here. Find a backpack. Then ride up the lift here. And you can jump on the cliff in front of you. Or some rockets. Still no chain gun. Now, let's take the uh, path to the left. No, okay. I thought it was a shotgunner for a moment. He still hurt me. The zombie man. Alright. So here's the red door. Get ready to fight bad guys here. In a very tiny area. You know what? I think I'm gonna just use the BFG here. Yeah, that was worth it. 100, 100s. Nice. I'm stuck. The torch was... Uh, Making me stuck. Okay, hit scan the room. I'm just gonna peekaboo shoot. I really don't want to lose too much health. 
Now, what should I do with these Kaku Demons? I think I'll try to get them to infight with the shotgunners. Nice meat shoots. Very nice. I'm uh, improvising, in case you didn't notice. Can I shoot this thing again? There's a way to lower these. Yeah. I'm not sure what the trigger is for this, but... I like it. Wait, is there a chain gun there? Did I seriously see a chain gun? How did I trigger it? Please, lower. I swear I saw a chain gun. Where am I going nuts? I saw a chain gun in that corner. I have to rewatch the video, because... A chain gun? Like, dude. And there's Lost Souls. I really want a chain gun in this map. If this map had a chain gun, it wouldn't have been so difficult. Okay, I'm gonna try to shoot the evil eye. I'll make the Kauka Demons and Baron appear, and I want the Kauka Demon to get hit by the Baron. I want them to infight. This will save me some ammo. Come on, Kako, get in the crossfire. Second Kako, come on. No? Yeah. Nice. Hey, good job. Man, you're sturdy. Okay, here's another evil eye, but beware of the hit scanners. And oh, now there's gonna be a lot of hit scanners in that room over there. This will take a while to kill them all. Please bear with me. I like to kill them like this because they're very dangerous. If only I had a chain gun. Pretty sure there was a chain gun there. Like, I'm not going crazy, am I? Maybe I am. Is it all of them? I hope so. Because when you take this teleporter, you will teleport to the room where you just killed all the shotgunners, so... Oh, no you don't. Uh, what's next? Oh yeah, the Kaku Demon Spawner. Oh uh, yeah, I just... Kill them with rockets, I guess. There should be three of them, but with fast mounts, they just, they just keep attacking and they... Don't spawn all three Kakos at once, because they don't move from their place, they just keep attacking. Good. Oh, and now comes this sucky section. There's some hit scanners all the way in that room. Also a Baron. Did I wake him up? No, he's still dormant. Okay, I'm gonna get the BFG ready. With the next section. Oh wait, I have to deal with the pinky first. Okay. The game ate my rockets. Did you see that? Okay, let's see. There's gonna be pinkies and hit scanners in this room, so I'm gonna use the BFG. No, don't shoot twice, stupid game. Now I waste cells. And more hit scanners. And I see some barons. Gonna kill the imp. 
I'm gonna group the barons together and I'm gonna shoot some rockets. Where are you going? It's the other way. Ah, uh, forget you. Hey guys, welcome to the chasm. John Romero edition. Come on, get closer. Yay. Good job. Yeah, I want to save those cells. So I'll kill them like this. Okay, chasm. And we're also going to enter a labyrinth with lost souls. What? Okay. Um, there's a hall of mirrors there. So yeah, this maze is filled with lost souls, but they can't really attack you. It's too tight in here. They are too fat to charge at you. Oh, there's one more. I'm gonna kill him, even though he doesn't count towards the kill count. We all know that by now. So yeah, now comes a BFG part. Lots of Kaku demons here. I'm just gonna make him fly up. Then group them together a bit, and then just... Man, that was a good BFG shot. I'm actually quite impressed. So, how am I doing? 14 minutes in. Yikes. This is a long map. Because you have to take it slow. Okay, now comes a horrible section. This is so awful. Because Doom's collision is a bit flawed. These walls are a bit elastic. You Sometimes the game just pushes you off the cliff for no reason. If you hit a, hit a weird angle. So I'm gonna take it slow here, very slow. See, I just got knocked off for some reason. And I think there's a Kaku demon here and... I really hope it doesn't attack me. Please don't attack me. Please, please, please. Okay, thank god. Ugh, this lost sauce. Ugh, this is so tedious. You thought the chasm was bad in Doom 2? Well, this is even worse. Although, hipster opinion, I like the chasm. Alright, final room, thank god. Then we're finally done with this map. It's filled with hit scanners, imps, kaku demons, and more bad guys, I don't even know. Oh yeah, and the infamous barons behind the yellow door. Okay, here comes the kaku demons. I'll kill them like this. I'm gonna have at least two BFG shots for the upcoming section. Come here. Okay. Let's grab the yellow key. Here. Got the BFG ready because of this bullshit section here. We all know what's going to happen here, if you've seen G-Man lives his video. So, let's shoot the BFG and open the door. Yippee! All kills, all secrets, 70 minutes, holy crap. Oh, and I forgot to do a troll. 
I forgot to do a pirouette for map 7. Oh well. Alright, we're getting close to the end. This is the final level of Sigil. Let's shoot the evil eye. And look at that lost sauce. John, I swear you have a fetish for lost sauce now. Anyway, chain gun. Yes, a chain gun in Sigil. It's a miracle. And some cells and the red key. What the heck? Did he hit me through the gate somehow? Oh, I think the cap could even hit me. Yeah, I think uh, demons can teleport in now. Yeah. I'm gonna press the switch here. And... Grab the goodies, grab the backpack. I'm going to grab the plasma and I'm gonna let the barons and the cacodemons spawn in. Just gonna make them all in fights. And I have to watch the fire blue teleporter here. Because sometimes demons spawn in. Hey, where are the barons? We're supposed to fight the cacodemons, come on. Ah, screw it. No infighting. Guess I'll kill the monsters myself. With six health. Give me a six health hype in the chat, please. I could kind of cheat, I guess. Could just grab the sorcerer like that. It's not cheating, it's a feature. What the heck hit me? Probably a hit scanner. Okay, let's take the fire blue. And let's explore this area a bit. With the plasma rifle. Why do I lose so much health? Okay, hit scanners. Don't kill me. Oh, I have a chain gun. I forgot about the chain gun. I keep forgetting there's a chain gun in situ. Alright, I'm healthy again. Oh yeah, uh, wall lowered behind me. Let's go back. It's a secret, and it's a secret. Um, it is gonna trigger a trap. I'll deal with you later. I'm gonna grab the rocket launcher first. the building with the green torches. Go away. Okay, Baron. Okay, then there's another secret here. For some cells. And I think... Yeah, there's two monsters left. Wait, is there? There's supposed to be three. Unless the super secret boss monster died somehow. Anyway, here's a spider mastermind and a cyber demon. Let's just run past them. And let's kill the real final boss. He's right here. Oh no, he died. He died somehow. I think a lost saw hit him. But yeah, there's a random zombie man here. The real final boss. And yeah, you can walk through this gate for a secret. And stepping on this pentagram will end the level, so don't try to grab the invincibility. Okay, Cyberdemon killed the Mastermind for us. Let's kill the Cyberdemon now. And... I'll kill us all secrets. Guys, we're, got, we're done with Sigil. That's Sigil. Let's play the 
ending message here. Alright. Sigil's done. Fast monsters. 100% kills. 100% secrets. And piss will start each map. Uh, what can I say about Sigil? Well, the first time I played it, I thought, dear lord, this what sucks. Like, I did not like the lack of ammo. I did not like... Well, the, it's a classic Doom what? So... There's a very limited amount, uh, with very limited selection of monsters. Like you have the Kakwa Demon, Baron, and that's pretty much it. No Mancubi, no Revenants, no Archvals. So it's quite boring. So I wasn't a big fan of that. Um, what do I think now after playing it a few times? I think it's gotten better now that I know the maps. I think the darkness is no real issue, at least not with OpenGL. But... I still don't like the lack of ammo and the lack of chain guns. Um, other than that, this is pretty fun. Um, what can I say about Sigil? I have no idea. Yeah, it's just nice of John Romero to make a level pack for us in uh, the year 2019. But uh, yeah, I think this is gonna turn out to be a classic uh, what many people will play. It was a bit overhyped, in my opinion, but it was worth the wait, I guess. I didn't buy any Sigil boxes or anything, or Sigil Beast box, it was called, I think. Uh, I just waited for the for the download link, and uh, well, I'm, uh, I'm happy. I'm happy Sigil uh, became a thing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to People speedrunning this, or UV maxing this, or hell, even a single segment UV fast or something, that's gonna be interesting. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we're done with Ultimate Doom. Uh, up next, I'm probably gonna play Doom 2, uh, split in three parts, so every, I think, every 10 levels, Doom 2 begins a new episode, like you get this intermission. I'm gonna use that to split up the video, so three videos of Doom 2 coming soon. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys soon.